Now time for another technical chart analysis from Sensei Crypto. This time we're talking Tilray Brands, ticker symbol TLRY. And now on with the video. Thank you, Martin. Yes, let's have a look at the Tilray chart. What an amazing week it's been. Um, thank you again, Martin, for putting out that video and bringing the news to our attention so we can all get a head start on the, tr on the, on the trade. Um, and, and know that the momentum is continuing. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you my targets for Tilray. Have I taken all my profits? Where do I think it's going next? Where, if, if I've missed, if you've missed on the trade, where is the next re-entry point? Um, and yes, we're going to look at the short, mid, and long-term targets for Tilray. So if you do want to be kept up to date with the Tilray charts, and then please do hit the like button. If we hit 100 likes, then I'll be doing another one to keep you updated. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Let's get straight into it. So first, let's have a look at the long term. So we'll go on the weekly chart. So every candle represents a week. Um, <clears throat> let's go back. Let's go back as far as when the glory days for Tilray, when it IPO'd at $22 and it went all the way up to $299. Obviously, ever since it has sold back, and that 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 sell off from the, from those highs took it all the way back down to this important level between um, it, it was between the two thirty four and the two fifty, and you'll see why that's important in a second. So that sell off all the way from two hundred thirty three came all the way straight back down in a matter of months, um, down to two dollars thirty four uh, thirty four something like that. So in terms of percentages. That move down was <clears throat> basically around 99 and a bit percent. So it was a drastic move down uh, and it only didn't take too long to do that. Once it hit that level of 230 or something like that, it then went on to an amazing bull run where initially in a few weeks it went up 500%. So in 71 days it went up 450%. And then over three uh, over just under a year it went up 3000 percent so this is a volatile stock it goes down quickly but also you can make great gains on the upside so that went from the levels we are at now all the way up to uh, 66 dollars that's not what i'm saying it's going to happen now but that is potentially what this stock is capable of doing and once it hit those highs it did something similar and went all the way from those 67 dollar to the all-time low that this stock has seen at around um, one dollar fifty. So that was again, um, in terms of percentages, that sell-off was. Let's give you the exact data. I'd imagine it's about that 99 percent. So it went down ninety-eight, ninety-seven percent again. And what we've been doing now is been consolidating. We've got this um, wedge pattern has been forming since those all-time lows and since um, we hit $3.39 in September of 2023. We've got this wedge pattern and the good news is, well, well the wedge pattern firstly is we had this high, then a lower high, and then we had the wedge pattern at the bottom, so we had this low, higher low, higher low, and then finally we're breaking out to the, of the wedge pattern and it's not to the downside it's to the upside so once we break out these patterns to the upside that normally means the trend is changing this is a new pattern formed and our targets are normally at the at the top of the wedge so realistically the the target for this wedge is three dollars 38 that is a move of another 46 percent to the upside um, but if we're looking at longer term targets, if you don't even care about the $3.27 and you want to hold the stock for maybe a few more years, then you're looking at targets. I'll give you them quickly because <clears throat> I, don't, I think it's better to trade out in and out of these stocks and, and not try and wait for those targets um, or have a, half your portfolio where you're trading and half that you're just going to hold no matter what and you want to take profits from Tilray in three years time when the stock is, for example, when the stock is around $30 um, or where we see the stock might be going at a $50 stock. Between $30 and $50 is where me and Martin are saying, Tilray, I think we say is a $40 stock, Martin says, and I agree, I think it's between $30 and $50 stock, um, and that's in a few years' time. So you can have half your portfolio where you're keeping 
if the legalization goes through, if everything goes well with the fundamentals, then you can see a $40. That's the long-term target. However, we're looking at the, 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 the short-term targets. Where is it going this week, next week? Um, and where should I position my money? Where is it high risk and low risk to be holding the stock? Um, so let's look at the daily time frame. So every candle represents a day. We've had our trade open at $1.59. Also at 172, we were adding. Um, and again, uh, the next entry point was breaking out of this wedge at $2. So we are up at least, if you entered at the worst worst entry, you're up 18%. If you entered at the best entry, then you're up 44%. So we've hit our first target. Our first target has been hit. That was hit on Friday. And that was a $2.34 level. That's the first level where it starts getting more high risk to hold the stock. This is the area where previously it's it's been support. Now we're looking to see if it's being um, turned into resistance. The next level is if we do break through the $2.30 level this week, next week, then we can quickly shoot up to the $2.54 level, which is another 8% move up on Tilray. But the real fun happens. If we break $2.54, the next target is $3.00. 38 and that is a basically another 43 percent move to up upside and that can happen very quickly we are turning over overbought on the rsi on the daily on the weekly we are not overbought yet the weekly rsi is in the bullish control zone it's at 58 and that means there's plenty of room for this stock to go higher without technically being overbought on the charts so if you want to start laddering out, this was your first take profit area, two dollars thirty-one. If if you if if you if you don't want the volatility, if you want to secure your money, and you, if you're happy with making thirty-four percent in a week, great, two dollars thirty-one. Maybe take some profits. If you want to wait a bit longer, you you want to hold a bit. You you don't mind taking in on extra risk, two dollars fifty-four. You might want to start taking profits there. That's about uh, fifty percent um, up um, on the week, or. You could put your next limit order at $3.38 and start taking your profits there. Or you could do um, a mix of the both. Take some profits now, take some profits at $2.54, take some profits at $3.38. But if you're here for the real, real gains, then you might want to wait until $4.83. Um, and that is the target that I'm looking for for Tilray in the next few months, next couple of weeks, is another doubling of the price, trying to get up to that $4 mark. $4.83 is where this stock can go. It is more high risk. Um, we might not get there. However, we've got good entries. I'm not going to be losing money that I've put in. So I'm happy to wait to see if we can get 483. Again, we'll be covering it every week, seeing if the, if the momentum changes, if we start stalling out and not starting to break some of these three resistance points I've shown you. If we don't start breaking them, then yes, my thoughts are going to change. But right now we're looking good. We're not overbought on the weekly RSI. We've got only a few targets to take out and then we can double in price. So for me, Tilray is still looking bullish. I wouldn't be buying now. If I did want to re-enter on this um, stock, I'd be looking at maybe the moving averages which are currently at two dollars two dollars would be maybe where i start buying some more and then again if we hit 170 that would be my ultimate buy point again um you might have missed the trade but i wouldn't be jumping in um i'll be waiting for if you see a red day if some bad news comes out that's the point to be buying it however if you're already in you've got your um, entries you're not going to be losing money you can put your stop losses in uh, again everything i say is not financial advice but that's my thoughts and i'll pass it back to you martin Thank you, Sensei. Great job as always. If you want further information, click above my head, down below in the description, or over here and over here, and you'll find more information. Till next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.